It's Grimwit from Natch Evil, and with me today is my wife, Queenie, also known as Departed Poet. Say hello, Queenie. Hello. Queenie, it's been, well, by the time this shows, it'll have been a week. Um, the question today is, how was Otacon? That son of a bitch just fucking sideswiped me. He T-boned me. <laughs> Otacon was excellent. I, I had fun. Otacon was freaking crazy, right from the point where we got our tickets. Yeah, oh yeah, I sent you a picture of of the photo line on the inside, by the way, so you can post all of that in there if you want. Are you talking about, what what are you talking about? Like the line just on the inside to get the tickets? I sent you that, I sent you, um, (laughs) Dante Bosco with his Zutaro poem, which was awesome. Sometimes the memory of what could have been is so much stronger than what actually happened because the memory of perfection lasts longer. And even though we didn't end up together, it'll never change the fact that you changed my life forever. So <laughs> well, we'll get to Dante Bosco. Okay, so the very first thing that happens is when we're getting tickets, <laughs> the line is ridiculously long, and we left two hours before they had to shut the door. Yeah. <clears throat> And, and turn people away and say, I'm sorry, we, we, we have to. Because <laughs> the people who were running the convention center shut it down. Yep. And they had to set up like a mobile <laughs> ticket, s- ticket seller. Yeah, dude. they sent up like a mobile little area over in the Hilton, I think. That was freaking crazy. The entire time that uh, we were there, like... Two or three people behind us with some crazy guy with a boom box playing anime music and getting everybody to dance and high five him. Yes, that was awesome. That was awesome. <laughs> it was high pi- five and people come on, going, come on, spread it, come on, spread it. Yeah, you've got a disease now. You've got a deadly disease. A deadly it's disease. It's called love. A deadly disease called love. Spread that disease. Spread it like cancer. <laughs> spread it like cancer. Spread it like. <laughs> anyway, so. <laughs> yeah, it was awesome. <laughs> That guy was pretty awesome. 35,000 people. Yep. That's what they drew the cap at. 35,000 people. That's friggin' crazy. I was sure with that much weight that the convention center might just collapse under the weight of all the people. It did good. Oh, they they did good. Let me see. I gotta check my route real quick. So, okay, we're, we're going to have to talk about Dante Bos- Bosco, obviously, because he also he also mentioned uh, Robin Williams, which is something yes. we, we may have to talk about, but I'd, I'd rather avoid the subject for now. But at some point, I decide, you know what? I want to watch anime with a big <laughs> group of people. And I it was terrible. It was like... What was it? It was the Index of Forbidden Books, which people uh, like, and I'm cool with people liking, but I thought it was very sloppy. It was... it was horrible. Because <laughs> I caught some of it at the end there. I was like, oh, why? Why? It, well, I was watching it because of Lisa Ortiz. Oh, or, yeah. Ortiz, yeah. Ortiz. Ortiz, I think it is. I don't know. You know, at, I don't think Next door... You went in to see Dante Bosco. Yes, I did. Why don't you explain who Dante Bosco is? Okay, for those of you that don't know, I know Dante Bosco from what I when I saw him first as Rufio in Hook. 
starring Robin Williams as Peter Pan and Lord have mercy, what is his name? Dustin Hoffman as Hook. From there, some of you may know him now as Prince Zuko of the Fire Nation from Avatar The Last Airbender. Does he do anything else or does he just kind of ride right off of those coattails as it were um right now he's riding off the coattails of basically being the fire lord i mean he loves being the fire lord um he came in and people were screaming basically half the room was screaming fire nation and the other half was like screaming zuko and the other half was screaming rufio <laughs> So he, he gets a lot of fandom from that alone. From all three um, halves. He is from all three halves, yes. He is a fanboy. He we made him blush. He admits to reading the um as we like to call it the Zutara fan fiction, which is the Zuko Katara mashups. Let the shipping begin. Oh yes, there is so much shipping and there was something, yes. Apparently, because Toph saved his life, she owes him, or he owes her a favor, uh, Zuko does. And he was talking about taking them on vacation, and someone asked, well, where would you take them on vacation? And he's like, she's blind, I could take her anywhere, and she wouldn't know. Like, look, there's the Grand Canyon, and isn't it great? She wouldn't know. <laughs> and I think someone in the back screamed out, it's already been done. He's like, what? send that to me so yes <laughs> <laughs> so he's much as he's a he's a fan just as much as anybody else is of the show he's read the books the comics if i'm not mistaken well that's good because i mean yes prince zuko plays pretty big in at least the first two yeah of and the he, graphic novels and he <laughs> is he's willing to um to do those if it comes down to it he will want he'll do he'll voice them it's not a problem he said um he he likes to call himself and i i honestly think this he's the bridge between both of the avatar worlds i mean you have him as prince zuko and then in Korra, you have him playing general um iroh the second if i'm not mistaken and so of course prince his voice yeah. Fire Lord Zuko is still alive. And, and Fire Korra. Lord Zuko is his grandfather, yes. <clears throat> so it's, it's kind of interesting. No, back up. Dante Bosco's grandfather plays Fire Lord Zuko? No. Well, you just said it was... <clears throat> oh, General... Okay, Iroh II, his grandfather is Fire Lord Zuko. Let that click around in your head. I'm trying to piece it together, but I'm not... Yeah, let's, let's move on. <laughs> because the other huge thing that happened to us is Kill a Kill. Kill a Kill, Kill yes. a Kill. Good lord. That was amazing. How many people were in that audience? 1,500? Oh, maybe a, more? Over a thousand easily. Over a thousand easily. That was freaking crazy. So, we get first thing is we get in a line two hours early, and I'm glad we did. Yes. <laughs> Queenie decides, I'm hungry. I'm gonna go for sandwiches. Well, I was. Thank you for getting me sandwiches. You're welcome. I had to pass the sandwiches down then myself down through the line. <laughs> Why did you pass the sandwiches first? Why didn't you just carry them? Because I had to crawl. I had to crawl to get under the um, the the rope. They were just passing... I know you said to pass it down to the guy with the Hawaiian shirt on. <laughs> but they were just passing the sandwiches down going, This goes to the guy who wants sandwiches! And they get to me and I'm like, I want sandwiches! <laughs> <laughs> Did you order sandwiches? Yeah? Are these my sandwiches? <laughs> and you're, meanwhile, you're hopping up and down behind that guy going, I'm right here! <laughs> like sandwiches? And there was this one girl, she's like, Where's my sandwiches? I, I don't, barely had room for one sandwich. I, oh, I, I don't oh. blame her. I have to go back to the Dante Bosco real fast. Sorry. Of course you do. It just popped into my... When I said my sandwiches, it popped into my head. My cabbages. Exactly that, man. Someone came up dressed as the cabbage vendor. 
in full gear with cabbages. And he asked Dante if he would like his cabbages. And Dante responded in Prince Zuko's voice, no. And the guy's like, my, my cabbages. And he responded, no, again. And the guy screamed out, my cabbages! Tossed the cabbages in the air. Mind you, this is a full room, maybe like three, 400 people. Tosses his cabbages in the air and runs out the door. He falls, tumbles, and then rolls right back out the door. Everyone lost their shit, cracking up laughing. And I think there's a picture of him on Facebook I'm going to have to find for you. He's like, hey, that's me. I'm like, yeah, you tossed your cabbages. So, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, it <laughs> just popped into my head. <laughs> so, kill a kill. <clears throat> I'm trying to get to this point where we got front row seats. Oh yes, that was awesome for kill the kill. Because uh, mostly, I think because of the one, the uh, the one woman who was helping us out. God, she was nice. She was very nice. And while you're in the bathroom, they take a big panoramic <laughs> shot. So now I'm part of a kill a kill moment, sort of right there, right. Right there. You suck. You suck butt. <laughs> oh my god, that was so much fun. The uh, them doing the reading all of a sudden with other people's voices. <laughs> yes, I sent you a video of that as well, so you can you can put that in. That was fun. And I freaking love the lady that did so uh, Lady Sasuke. I can't remember her name for the yeah. life of me right yeah, now. Yeah, she was really. Yeah, her name was what Carol something. I think it was either Carol or Erica. She was really into that role. Or Karen. Oh my god, yes, yeah, she stood up. I I have a I have a video of it. I but know. It's not I've already shown it. Have you? Whatever it is, I've already shown it. Oh, okay. I I can't see. So it's not a full video, but it's like a, a few seconds. But she says, "Bow down, you pigs and hill, or you, you pigs and or you humans and pigs clothing, or something like that." But I didn't get all of it. But at least it's a good screenshot that you can get me these. Oh things. yeah, no, I didn't get that one. Never mind, I haven't shown that. <clears throat> Where she's holding her sword up, and it's fucking awesome. Yeah, we don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, <laughs> it's maze balls. Maze balls. It's maze balls. God, that was so much fun. And so much stripping. So much stripping. Yeah, kill a kill. Anybody who's seen it knows who the stripper is. <laughs> that was... Well, I... Ah. No, yeah. well, we'll get there, I guess. Because yeah. we haven't seen all of it. We've only seen the first three episodes now. Yeah, we haven't seen all of it. That is not your bed. Sherry, that's not your bed. You sleep up in the attic. Sherry? Oh, you're playing uh, yes. the side of his household. Yes, she was sleeping in Lemon's bed, and now Lemon is sleeping in Glaucon's bed. What the hell? Glaucon just wants to sit and play with his goddamn boat. Let him play with his boat. <sighs> Shit. I, I feel like I'm missing something. <laughs> uh, finally, um, no game, no life. Oh my god, yes. We marathoned that when we got home. Yep. Yeah. As soon as we that saw it, we, we hooked awesome. up on Crunchyroll. That and that I've been awesome. addicted to JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. <laughs> I'm glad we kind of missed that because we would have missed Kill the Kill. And I well, no, had a lot it more was, fun watching Kill the Kill. It was going to be either Kill the Kill or taking part of the AMV contest. <laughs> both of which would have taken two hours of waiting in line. Yeah. And uh, we, we decided on Kill the Kill because we had never done anything like that before. Mm-hmm. It yeah. was awesome. It was awesome. So, God, anything else that you, you want to bring up? Um... Or do you just want to go on about Rufio? Oh, well, you're fine. Well, I will bring up the uh, something, but I'm sure you just don't want to. But, of course, as you know, Robin Williams has passed. And yeah, Robin Williams has passed. Robin Williams has passed, unfortunately, and Zuko, well, Dante Bosco, he actually put up a really touching little memorial to him on his Instagram, Tumblr, and f Facebook, I don't know if he has Facebook, but Twitter as well regarding that, because he did talk about working with him and how it affected him, that to him, that was basically like a father figure 
Because he was just, he, I think at the time he was only like 16, 17 years old. He was a teenager when he was actually doing Hook. So, and it, I mean, it's just so weird for him to be talking about it. And then like two days after the fact that we hear that Robin Williams has died, it, it's just kind of, kind of weird, you know? It, eh. It, yeah, it's hmm. oddly poignant. It is, it is. Well, clearly, Robin Williams had an effect on the dude's life. Oh, yes, definitely. He was a big influence in his life. Big as, influence. As he was with many people, he was Robin friggin' Williams. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But, yeah. Yeah, yeah, everybody's sad now. <clears throat> yeah, sorry, my bad. Not mean to do that. S- sad trucker. Ooh, Lemon is not happy with me. Lemon, I'm sorry, but you gotta do shit. And I'm about to run out of gas. Uh oh, that's not good. Uh, oh, yeah. time. I unfortunately am not able. You're playing The Sims. Yes. Okay, I was just making sure. <laughs> Why? Oh god. Yep. Glaucon wants Lemon's attention. And that's not gonna happen. Why is Sherry? Oh, oh, okay. Sherry's playing in the in her tub. She's pirating in her tub. What? The hell? Now she's doing like the wiggle dance. Knowing what I know of the actual Sherry, I'm trying to contemplate what this would play out as. <laughs> Sherry playing pirate in a tub. Oh, thank God, gas station. <laughs> you are running out of fuel. You should sit, find a petrol station. Petrol? Petrol? Yeah, I wish I had a screen cap, like, video record for this so I could show it to you. But unfortunately, I don't have that. Very strange. We're each playing our own individual games. We're playing our own Sims. <laughs> yeah, mine just happens to be a truck sim. Yep. Oh, well, don't you give me that look. Get back, make your damn bed. Then you can go back to the tub. Let's see how many liters this is, because I was damn near empty. There, now you can play with the tub again. You had to make your bed. Oh, boy, it's like a fucking trial. Yeah, it is, because they're... Ah. Uh, what anyway, did you have the phone for? Lemon, why were you on the phone? 700 liters. It's not bad. Lemon, you should be going to work. <sighs> Lemon, why aren't you at work? So... <clears throat> Okay, Glaucon's at school. Good. Okay. Sorry. Um, Hi. <laughs> Hi. Otakon. Otakon. I mean, we can talk about The Sims if you want. This is casual truck. I don't care. I know. We can talk about Otakon. What What did you like the best? Um, honestly, I, I like what I liked last year, which was being in a big audience of people watching things, which made Kill la Kill especially excellent for me because... Yes. The we crowd was it with huge. the voice actors. <laughs> it was so loud I could not hear the baby crying behind us. <laughs> I know there was one because of those rare moments when something wasn't exploding or stripping. <laughs> there was a baby crying and then something would happen and I didn't care cuz it was just ah oh god the crowd was awesome. And uh, I didn't have one of those moments like last year, unfortunately, where we got to watch a really bad anime and everybody was making fun of it at the time. That was also great last year, but this year I have my own memories. And of course the cosplayers. And the sexy and not-so-sexy cosplayers. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 There was... Oh, oh, when I was in line at Jimmy John's... I don't know if I told you or not. I saw the, um, it was a Trojan Mario and a Wizard Luigi. Okay. <laughs> Let's start with the Trojan Mario, because when I think of Trojan anything, I think of a large wooden structure. Well, he had, like, the, like, like, think of, like, the Trojan condoms kind of deal. It's the guy with the big Spartan ha- helmet or whatever. So he had the hat, it was all red and had little spiky bits off of it. He was in a utilicilt. Utilicilt? It was a leather utilicilt. Um pleated. So it kind of looked like a Spartan's leather bottom as it were. I don't remember if he had a shirt on. I really don't remember. 
He it, did have a, um, a cape, though. As did Luigi. Yeah, Luigi had a green beard. Or no, no, they both had the beards, but there was double-sided sticky taped on. He had, Luigi had a green wizard's hat and, and a cape. <laughs> and a staff. There were a lot of interesting... <laughs> I, I was counting the Cecil cosplayers. We saw it. two! I wish we saw more! Yeah, I was surprised how few Night Vale... Uh, well, there was the Glow Cloud. There was the Glow Cloud. The Glow Cloud was awesome. Somebody had cosplayed as the Glow Cloud. But I was expecting more Cecil and Carlos. I, I guess it isn't it isn't the Night Vale convention. It's the it's the otaku convention. So yeah. That. But there was a shitload of Doctor Who. Yeah, that's another weird thing. So I saw a lot of Doctor Who cosplay. I saw a lot of. <sighs> I saw a lot of Doctor Who. I saw a lot of Game of Thrones. Um. I saw like seven. Yeah, seven people really like that dragon chick. You get Daenery, Danny, yeah, yeah, they, they kind of like her because they get to see her tits. But anyway. Three, two, one. She's dead. Who's dead? I don't know. I can no. guarantee she's in Game of Thrones. She'll die. No, actually, she's she's alive. She's, For now. She actually rules over Marine. For now. Ugh, whatever. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong anyway. But yeah, she rules over. Ah, uh, she died again. Whatever. I know how Game of Thrones works, even though I haven't seen it. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Anyway. But yeah, there's a lot of Game of Thrones. Coming a lot you, of... Car. Um, Coming for you, car. I just saw one or two rainbow dashes floating around. But it was so weird because BronyCon was like the weekend before. <laughs> so yeah, you had BronyCon the weekend before, and then right after that was Otacon. And I believe they just released... Yeah, they just released the days for next year's Otakon. It's going to be in July 24th to the 26th. They already have the hotel bookings up and running. So if anybody wants to go, there you go. And now we all know. Yes. I wonder how much damage that did to my cargo. Oh, well. Oh, good lord, honey. <laughs> you know, I'm the one who hardly got any <gasps> sleep. I'm surprised you're the one yawning. Yeah, I know. I just all of a sudden hit me and say, like, "Hey, you're tired. You know that?" <laughs> like, why? Why? Yes, I, I do know that I'm tired. Thank you for reminding me. Oh, okay. We're in autumn now. Okay. I'm gonna drool all over your pillow tonight. Put the pumpkin up. Don't, don't <laughs> drool, please, please don't. You've already done that once or twice, and it your drool stinks to high heaven. That's really weird, isn't it? Because I do brush my teeth before I go to bed. And your drool still stinks to high heaven. I'm wondering if I should change Glaucon's room. Mm. Ah, The well, Sims. Well, Simulation dollhouse. That's basically yeah. what it is. It's a big dollhouse. Yeah. Leave me alone in my dollhouses. You're fine. If I can, she, if I can get addicted so to... She looks so dejected that she has to come over here and make Lemon's bed. Oh my god. If I she can, looks so sad. If I can get addicted to Trackmania, you can get addicted to The Sims. Well, that and you got trucker sip too. <sighs> I need. Oh my god, I forgot to put that in there, didn't I? Yes, I did. Well, what's t getting time to wrap this up anyway, babe? So. Okay. It it sounds like you're ready for bed or Sims or maybe you'll make a Sim of yourself and then put that to bed and then fall asleep. That would be awesome because I'm exhausted. Mm. Oh, there we go. There we go. That's the one I want. Where's? Should I do it white? Uh, this never works. Uh -oh. I'm going to go with brown. Hey, I got good work. How much damage did I do to the trailer? Only 1%. Awesome. Magical amounts. And I was so close to uh, leveling up. And anyway, we're going to call that a video. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, uh, Queenie, thanks for joining me today and explaining all the wonders and glories that is Otakon. Otacon. 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 That's what I said, Otacon. Otacon. And uh, I will see everybody else next time. Say goodnight, Queenie. Love, peace, and chicken grease. Uh, that'll do too. <laughs>
<laughs> hey, got Skype? Wanna be on the show? Have you found the spider nest hidden under your bed? Then shoot a mail to natchevil at gmail.com and include truck in the subject so I know it's from you. And thanks for watching.